What about the Asians taking over Africa? Oh yes. Oh my goodness. I made the comment when yeah, you I was talked in about London. it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Ethiopia, right? The only African nation to never be colonized up until now. Ethiopia is one of the largest recipients of Chinese aid in the world. Ethiopia also has a female president now. Shout out to the queen. But guess what? Ethiopia better do something fast because they are becoming over dependent on Chinese support. And why is the Chinese taking over Africa? Because they studied what the white man did and they said we're going to do it better than the white man. They are coming into Africa for four reasons. Reason number one, the China man is coming into Africa. China is overpopulated. I was just there a year ago in January of 18. There's too many of them. They got over 2 billion people in one country. America is only what, 500 million? Mm. They got 2 billion. China is looking for unexploited lands where they can send their excess poor people. Africa is perfect. That's number one. We got to reduce the population of China, so we're going to send all of our unwanted to Africa. Same thing Britain did when they founded the 13 yep. colonies. Second reason China taking over Africa, look at all the poor Africans. Can you imagine a better place to go and open up your factories and businesses where you can pay people even less than what you pay them in China? There's no minimum wage in many African countries for foreign businesses. You can, you can exploit African labor better than you can exploit, exploit Taiwanese and Vietnamese labor. So the second reason they're in Africa, because guess what? I keep more of the profit. Third reason they're in Africa is to take over the resources, just like the white man. That's why they're giving out all these loans. These are not grants. Let me be clear. The money that China is giving Africa are not grants. They are loans. You might say, why is China giving Kenya more money than they know Kenya can pay back? You follow me? Why are they giving a poor country like Ethiopia more money? Because they don't want you to pay it back. Right. Because when you look at the contract, guess what it says? If you default right. on this loan, loan, we keep all your, your tea right. fields are mine. Mm -hmm. All your copper mines are mine. Mm -hmm. All your oil reserves are mine. And guess what? You already have an African nation that has defaulted on the loan. I think it was Kenya, but don't quote me. As a result of the default, <clears throat> China now owns all of a particular resource in that country. And the fourth reason that they are in Africa is to make the Africans dependent on them culturally, intellectually, educationally, and otherwise, because China plans to colonize Africa the same way the white man did. And I'm hurting by saying this, y'all. You know yeah. why I'm hurting? Because Patrice Lumumba died for Africa to be free. Thomas Sankara died for Africa to be free. Steve Biko died for Africa to be free. Chris Hani died for Africa to be free. Amakal Cabral died for Africa to be free. And after all the blood that has been spilled, Deedon Kamathi died for Africa to be free. And after all the blood has been spilled, you mean to tell me 60 years after we kicked the white man out, you want to roll out the red carpet to the Chinese? It's like slavery all over again. It's slavery all over. Oh, but it's different now because guess what the yeah. Chinese are doing? They're adding a little twist. They're building military bases and police stations everywhere they set up shop. I'm going to be interviewed by DJ Booty Magazine next week. They contacted me last night. They want to interview me because DJ Booty is the first African country that has a Chinese police station. Can I ask you a question? If you are the president mm. of Wakanda, right. you are a sovereign nation. I want to come and do business in your sovereign nation. Can you please tell me why you allow me to bring my own police? You are a sovereign nation. Part of being sovereign means what? You control the military. But Africa is letting China bring their own police. Let me tell you what's going to happen. Lord. Let me tell you what's going to happen. The Chinese as disrespect. And by the way, they are as disrespectful in Africa as they are here. Right. So when you read these stories in New York about the sister being beat up in the nail. Yeah, around, I remember that. Yep. They do the same thing in Africa. Yeah. Oh, I've, the Chinese think they own it. When you go, you want to see what I'm talking about. Guess what? I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. There's going to be a conflict. An African is going to get disrespected by a Chinese. It's going to turn into a group conflict. And the Chinese military is going to hurt one of our African brothers and sisters. It's going to turn into a civil war. Yeah. And then China going to send a whole army in. And they're going to colonize that whole country. And they're going to do just like America does. We just making your country safe 
for democracy. The irony is what? Africa is rolling out the red carpet for China. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're taking over the Caribbean. They're taking over Africa. They're taking over the Caribbean. They're all in South Africa. In fact, Mandarin is now an official language in the Republic of South Africa. Zulu isn't. Kosa isn't. So the indigenous languages are not taught in the school. But Mandarin is. That speaks to the influence of China. But they don't roll out the red carpet for us in China. We're the first to build every civilization everywhere. So I don't care if you're in Mexico, if you're in Europe, who were the first Europeans? The Grimaldis of Africa, who migrated 20 to 40,000 years ago, mm -hmm. and in the process of climatology, lost the pigmentation, the deep pigmentation that we have. So no matter where you go, we were the first people. Is there any place in the world we can go and not experience racism? No, not at all. Even the Caribbean? Not even, not even in the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. In fact, when I was in Jamaica, I keynoted the Garvey celebration last summer, Ocho Rios, the Chinese, pretty much own Jamaica. I mean, the Jamaican government is giving them concessions, land concessions, they're building hotels, beach resorts, uh, they're building two schools for, for the Jamaicans, and what the Jamaicans have to give them in turn is the right to certain lands, the right to certain waterways, and if it doesn't stop, Jamaica, ironically, the land of Marcus Garvey and Bob Marley will be the first Chinese colony in the Caribbean. Wow. It's getting bad. And you know why it's happening? Because the black bourgeoisie leadership in both Africa and the Caribbean they don't have to live with the consequences of the economic decisions they make. So if I'm the president of Jamaica, okay, and China says, listen, we're going to give you a million dollars in retirement. We're going to build you a retirement home, but we want this, this, and this. And you can loan as much money as you want. You can borrow as much money from the Bank of China as you want. I'm going to be set by the time I leave office. But what about my nation? Jamaica will be struggling for the next 50 and 75 years because of bad economic decisions from selfish leaders today. And that's the problem in Africa, and it's the problem in the Caribbean.